when I went to the salon to get my hair straightened, the hairstylist would see me at the door and say, How? Ususa wins in well. Putty. What's your shirt? I will say this is a gag, this is a gag. I would respond with a fake smile, embarrassed to have come back, as my straightened hair had turned kinky once again. I didn't see my hair as stubborn. I saw my hair as a freedom fighter, <laughs> fighting to be free from hair straightening queens. <laughs> when it was my turn to have my hair straightened, I sat on the salon's cold bench. As the hairstylist parted my hair into four sections, I bent my neck and flinched, trying to run away from the pain that I felt of my hair being pulled apart. The hairstylist would then say, I was the Uti Uva Mutle Kubushlung. I would not respond to her comment, but follow the motion of her hair of her hand as she touched my hair. She would then apply the hair straightening cream at the tips of my hair, and I would feel the cool sensation of the cold cream on my scalp. She would massage the cream into my hair and then start using a small tooth comb and a flint and bend at every stroke of the comb. Eventually, she would hold my forehead so I could keep still. And since I couldn't move, I would then say, ouch, at every stroke of the comb. The hairstylist would then leave me to sit with the cream in my hair for a while so that the cream would settle and do the magic of making my hair straight and silky. This would be such peace after the terror of the comb. However, this peace would be short-lived mm -hmm. as the cream would start tickling me at the edges of my scalp. The tickling would turn into a burning sensation. I would tell the hairstylist that the cream needed to be washed off my hair and she would be like, no man, your hair's stubborn, wait a while. By the time I got to the sink to wash my hair, I would think to myself, finally, freedom.